Hello, and welcome Emerging Leaders in Learning and Development. I'm thrilled to have you here today as we dive into a topic that can have a big impact on your career and goals. Today, we're going to explore what is process and does it matter to learning and development leaders? Not only am I going to explain why process matters, I'll give you steps you can take to begin defining your own process. Be sure to stick around to the end so you can add this essential tool to your L&D toolkit. Hi there, it's Rachel Shell, your host of the Emerging Leaders in L&D channel, where we are all about helping learning and development professionals learn the skills needed to take the leap to leadership. So let's get started. Do I need a process when it comes to designing and developing learning? The short answer is yes, but let's talk about why. Your process is how you set expectations for yourself and your team. Think about it as a roadmap for your journey in learning and development. That's why it's considered the first essential skill for L&D leaders to master. Your process should include how you begin a project, how you gather the necessary information, the tools and resources you employ, and how you plan on launching and evaluating learning outcomes. But it's not just about structure, it's about accuracy as well. A well-defined process helps you determine the timeline, budget, and overall scope of work. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in next month's video. So let me ask, do you currently use a process in your L&D role? If so, tell me about it in the comments. Let's share our different processes. Check out the comments to see my process around determining how I measure the success of training before I even begin designing. I can't wait to read about your process as well. Developing a process is considered a technical skill, and it's what I consider a starting point if you're looking to level up your leadership skills. But if you've done any type of research on leadership skills, you will see multiple articles and posts that focus on the importance of developing soft skills. So why do I start with technical skills like process? After interviewing multiple L&D leaders, we found that starting with a technical skill like process can assist you in developing the soft skills you need. Soft skills like communication, delegation, flexibility, creativity, problem solving, collaboration, and leadership. Before we talk about why process matters, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Each week, I share content to help L&D professionals that want to learn the skills needed to take the leap to leadership. So be sure you subscribe today so you're notified each time a new video is posted. Okay. Let's address the big question. Why does my process matter? Well, first, it matters because it turns chaos into productivity. Your process provides structure, and within that structure is the flexibility you and your team need to adapt to changing circumstances. I like to call it creativity without the chaos. Most importantly, though, your process matters because it affects the entire company. It's a series of steps you and your team take to solve company problems, both big and small. When you lead yourself effectively, you can lead a team and contribute to the organization's success. When it comes to developing your process as a leader, you will take a three-phase approach. First, you'll develop a process and then test it on yourself. Next, you teach this process to a team to further refine it. Finally, you use this process to lead change within your company. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's begin by looking at how you can begin defining your process for yourself. Step one, assess your current practices. Step two, Set clear goals and milestones. Step three, research best practices to fill in the gaps. Step four, record and document your process. Step five, identify your tools and resources. Step six, 
test and refine the process on yourself. And step seven, seek mentoring and coaching to take it to the next level. If you want to get started today developing your own process, I invite you to join the Emerging Leaders in LD. We are a community of like minded learning and development professionals on a journey to leadership. And this month, we're focused on creating our processes together. Members can access resources that will help you learn about what a process can look like, help you answer interview questions around process, and you'll have the opportunity to ask other members of the Emerging Leaders Group about their process. Membership is free, so join now and get access to the community that can help you figure out your process for yourself and your team. As you begin developing your process, remember, it's an ongoing endeavor. It's essential to stay flexible and adaptable, making improvements as you go. You'll gain experience and you'll understand more about how your process will work best for you as you evolve. Once you understand the process yourself, then it's time to involve your team. Bring them in and have them help you with the development of this process. It's going to foster a sense of ownership and commitment to its success. I want to see you thrive in your career, and I genuinely believe that mastering this first step of process is key to doing that. So before we wrap it up, here's one final tip I want to provide you when it comes to developing your process, learning leader. Don't try to figure out your process on your own. Take control of your leadership journey and join us in the Emerging Leaders in l and today. Our vibrant community of l and professionals will help you explore this world of process-driven leadership. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, your process can be the key to unlocking your full potential as a learning and development leader. Let's continue this journey together. Join the Emerging Leaders Group, and I'll see you there. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep leading.